you would just be able to tell you're shaking your head no right well you're also a very masculine woman I so I agree so. yeah I right agree that's so. what I'm saying like give us the specifics like I how just can you told tell? you well, okay. I just told you I just like, used her as an example okay, this so young lady right here not... yeah like you're like this like you're right. ready to go to work <laughs> you're ready to go get some money you're like yo what's the next thing we gotta do <laughs> shit what would you say data analyst yo, I'm a data analyst what's the supply it, chain analyst supply chain analyst <laughs> do you think so you I speak have... aggressively as well I don't I wouldn't necessarily say that you speak aggressively but your mannerisms like like all of this. this yeah yeah like that's man Definitely. shit it, it, it even looks it even looks bad when a man does it when a man's displaying proper uh, body language to explain certain you know points he's articulating his words he doesn't gotta be like yo yo yeah, trust me that was me back in the day 10 years ago like yo you, you like that's how we raised but mm. unfortunately that's the you know that's the life that we're taught right. blacks and latinos right but when it's a man conducts himself a certain way he doesn't need to do all that but women are biting off of what we know today is hip-hop and that's the way that these men are when really a lot of these men are very feminine a lot of these yeah. young guys they're sagging their jeans they ass is showing not knowing that that yeah. you know these funny boys are looking at them too and a lot of women assume that that's a masculine man when in reality that's a feminine man yeah. Mas masculine men are stoic right like the complete opposite of, of, of what she's displaying so she's displaying feminine uh characteristics just by her body language she's like this right she's listening she's engaged versus someone like myself or, or, or eric when we speak we're speaking we're commanding respect i don't have to scream at you for you to understand what i'm saying men we don't we shouldn't have to raise our voice yeah. but unfortunately since we get ourselves in relationships and again uh caddy i hold both uh, maddie uh caddy 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 i'm sorry i'm not you doing that on, caddy, i'm like not doing that. that on purpose i just definitely you know, doing it on purpose. Like <laughs> uh, you know i hold both men and women responsible so it's a it's a you know it's a thing it's a unit thing you know mm -hmm. like you me us like let's let's identify right so it's not necessarily that you are like you're doing all it is or like talk, yo what's up bro like none of it's the mannerisms, the gestures, you know, versus a feminine woman. Like, she's going to stand. And it's all, up, like, subconscious. That's crazy. Yeah, it's right. a, but it's taught, unfortunately, right. you know, it, unfortunately, because a lot of women don't, and not you specifically, we're just going to talk in generalities. Unfortunately, because a lot of women didn't grow up with their fathers, because a father's supposed to tell you how beautiful you are, but a father's also supposed to tell you, hey, lower your voice because a man's not going to tolerate yes, that exactly. a man is never going to tolerate that mm -hmm. a, a young girl should be in a dress a young girl should be yeah. loved by her father and taught by her father so yes. when she, she when she grows up and she becomes a woman she understands mm -hmm. how she's supposed to conduct herself around yeah. men when a woman is feminine and she's in her grace men what, we fix ourselves up a, a, a feminine woman walk in the room bro oh shit it's a feminine woman fix my glasses <laughs> you stand up straight real yeah. men right we stand up straight damn there's a feminine woman walking in the room versus a wrong bunctious and loud yeah. and combative get over some muscle dumb ho. she yo like it's like <sighs> but then let me ask you this do you think you can still be a feminine woman and be a career woman i think that is going to be way more difficult mm -hmm. for you right and a lot of women are prioritizing well a lot of women have been i don't think you can bro but we thinking. have to at this point you know like, what I, I, it used oh, to you, be, you think it's possible i think that depending on on her upbringing because okay. I think that uh, depending on on the relationship she has with her father, you know, uh, I don't think you can, bro. Nah, I'm telling you, bro. Like, you know, I, I think that it is it rare. Is it like, <laughs> am I putting money on it? Am I gonna put money on it? No way. Right. You know, I'm not flipping a coin. And, you know and, what I'm saying? And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay. So what I, the reason why I don't think it's possible is because when 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 a woman goes to work, she's she's mm -hmm. leaving she's she's leaving that yeah. feminine yeah. state, yeah. right? At the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so and then she can't come home and then turn it off. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't happen like that. So yeah. it, it, it's like, imagine like, let's say you're a Christian girl, but you you get a job at the strip club, right? You're just a bartender there. You don't strip, but you're a bar. Like eventually, like it just it just happens. It's just natural, yeah. you know. And then imagine like then you go to church the next day, like it, it, there'd be a part of you that like you know, listen, man, this isn't right, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, but that goes into the man having to play his position correctly there's a show called everybody hates chris who's mm -hmm. heard of everybody yeah. hates chris i never watched so, it. so i don't know how I, and i love that show but um there's scenes right where the mom like she'll be at work and she'll get into an argument with the manager and she'll be like i'm not doing this my man got two jobs uh-huh you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so she'll quit because she knows she has the safety of her man mm -hmm. she's not willing to tolerate that type of behavior because tolerating 
a certain amount of pressure yeah. is a masculine yep. character yeah. trait. Yep. But so don't you yeah. think? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to so, you so, so to answer your question, can a woman learn? Sure, anything is possible. But the probability of it, especially without a strong father figure, because a strong father figure, for example, my my daughter, you, I'm not going to tell my daughter, uh, yo, go 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 to college, go get a career. No, I'm going to tell her, hey, you need to be the most submissive, the most beautiful, the most fit. So when you find a man, I'm not that don't go to college, but if you do go to college and see a young man who's very well on his path to becoming the ultimate version of himself who can secure your future, because that's what women, especially young women, need to be concentrating on is finding the man in order to secure their I future. I say this every fucking you know, day. They gotta secure, you got to secure your future mm -hmm. because after a certain age, you don't want to be the breadwinner after a certain age. What's that like, age? I want to say like 35, 30. You For know, women, like, I would say it's, uh, I, I like see what you're saying. Yeah, you know I mean? it's, it's, it's sooner than yeah, that. It's sooner That's than funny that, that like. you say that because my dad used to do that with me. Like when I would be out with him, mm -hmm. he would have a brush, a hairbrush for me in the car and be like, brush your hair, fix yourself up before Facts. we go anywhere. Yep. You can't get out of the yeah. car looking like that. Yeah. And I never understood why. And you why. still That's chose the wrong is. guy. You know? God That's damn it, Chrissy. Come on, man. I know, but I learned. I learned. And you still chose the wrong guy. Shout out to my boy. I'm with a good guy now. Shout out to my boy, and Dios confío. He says, Christy is a decent woman for sure Can you uh and dios confío oh i don't know how that is thank okay, you okay cool yeah um yeah she has a man homie thanks a lot though <laughs> i appreciate it yeah okay, he's in cool. the chat <laughs> how many children yeah. do you have two right have boy two. and a girl two boys two boys okay mm -hmm. okay yeah so um your boyfriend huh the guy that you're with what was it? he he his tyler. name's uh tyler, tyler. tyler yeah. yeah he's being a father or is their their so, father active or how so does that work we just started um dating about a month ago mm -hmm. um he lives in utah so right now it's a long distance oh, relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. but is he planning to move in here i'm planning to move with him with my kids mm. see that's gonna be a big problem how though Huh? How old are they? I have a three-year-old and an eleven-year-old. That's gonna be a big problem, though. Big he problem. has children as well. Uh, okay, so, no, no, no. But you know, we're like colliding the family. Hear me out, hear me out, Christy. <laughs> let me tell you why that's gonna be a big problem, Why? though. Well, maybe for you it won't, or but maybe eventually it will be. But you said that your uh, your kid's father doesn't really want to be active, so maybe right now it won't be a problem. But what He's if he changes? Not able to right now. But okay, what if he what if he changes his mind? What if in the future he wants to be active, and now you're in Utah? Yes. Right. And now he wants to be a part like there's there's going to be a problem there. I always tell men not to date single mothers. I agree that that's a hard situation. That's, that's a across, horrible yeah. situation because Tyler can sit here and yeah. pay for you and your kids and spend his resources on you. And then one day you guys have one argument and you end up leaving. You move back to Miami. Mm -hmm. He's lost time, resources. Yeah. Right. And he the the, uh, the connection he has with the kids, it doesn't even matter because you take yeah. that away, too. And that's why we, I got to make sure that if I make that commitment. Well, have you I'm met him in sure person? Yeah, of course. Where? Here? Yeah. yeah, he came over here to Miami. He came over here to Miami. Mm -hmm. And you've only been dating for two months? A little bit less than that, actually. Less than oh. two months? <laughs> and you're about to move to Utah? Well, next year, how if everything keeps going on track, how we're doing, we've been visiting back and forth. Like, I'm going to go over there next, and he's coming over here again. How many if kids If everything continues have? like this. He three. has three kids. How old is he? 33. 33. <laughs> Also, the lifestyle is different over there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what, what is I'm the father ready. of your children? I want to get out of say? Miami. <laughs> what does the father of your children say? Is he active in their lives? He's not. Oh, he's not. He, Apparently, he's according, not. according to her, she said that he's not really active. He he's, lives nine minutes away, you said? He, not anymore. He's not, not able to anymore, I said. He's not able he's to. Probably he's probably in jail. Not, no. Yeah, he's probably in jail. Rehab. Oh, oh rehab. rehab. So he's a drug addict. Oh, damn. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. I didn't want to say that on the podcast, but oh, hey, shit. it is what it is. Let yeah. me be what, truthful. I'm nobody, here to be unfiltered. Nobody here knows him, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> you know? He's not watching the podcast, anyways. So. Exactly. <laughs> so you whatever. Never know. They got phones in there. Now. <laughs> <laughs> they be on TikTok lately. Yeah, I'm like, what, what's up? Are you live? I actually on? had a guy hit me up on TikTok, like, yo, bro, I'm about to get out soon, man. I need a mentor, this, that, and -uh. the third from TikTok. Yeah, no, for real. I mean, my cousin was FaceTiming me from prison when he was That's locked crazy. Yeah, yeah. They do have cell phones in there. Yeah, they do. I had an ex face. All right, real quick. Let me let me uh, ask a new question, ladies. True or false? A man should be under her 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 husband, right? I'm sorry, a woman should be under her husband. So like, even in a dating relationship, like even if you're not married, right? Like a woman should always be under her boyfriend, her fiance, her husband. Correct? Yes. You agree? A hundred percent. Okay, and I mean like he's in he's in a position of leadership. He, he makes the decisions. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Do you agree with that? Um, to an extent, yeah. To an extent. Why to an extent? Why not yes or no? Um, because I think 
it should be equal it should be but it doesn't have to be it's whatever the two people in the relationship decide is ideal for them for their relationship but i do think it's important to be able to listen to your partner's guidance and okay i'm delusional i mean okay. just because you let a man lead doesn't mean he's not gonna listen to you no yeah that's what i'm saying you should uh, who both leads be in your relationship um i would say he has the upper hand i would say he doesn't <laughs> I would say he doesn't. <laughs> it's hard to have the upper hand with me sometimes because I can be masculine, but I also know when it's time to, to listen turn and to bro, turn it off. Who hurts you, bro? Who hurts you? Okay. Uh, Everyone. <laughs> all right. Yo, you have a real victim mentality. You remind me um, of myself when I was like 15 years old, right? Everything's okay. someone else's problem. Thanks for your input. Uh, uh, well, I'm telling you, like, I'm, I'm speaking about myself too, right? Like, when I was so, 15, everybody, everything that I was going through was someone else's problem, mm -hmm. right? When I was homeless, it was someone else's problem, right? So weird. I didn't have money, I couldn't eat, it was someone else's problem, right? And, and granted, at 15, you're still kind of dependent on an adult. Yeah, you're a child. Right? Bro. I was yeah. a child, but, yeah. but still. But that, that victim mentality was what caused me to stay there. And I thought like, oh, well, woe is me. Everybody should feel bad for me. And then you do nothing about it, right? You give so, me that same type so of energy. What, what made you take that conclusion or make that conclusion? Well, first of all, this isn't the first interaction I've had with you. I talked to you yesterday. Uh, right. You know, every situation, it's like, oh, well, you know, this because of this, because I have, the, I, I forgot about this. I forgot I was supposed to do this. And, oh, I don't have this. And, like, you've known you were coming days in advance. Oh, well, you know, I don't have a ride. And, oh, I, you know, I, I, I'm i I'm just now getting well, ready. I'm supposed to be there in an hour. I'm just now getting ready. Like, it was always, like, there was always, uh, you know, an excuse for every single thing. Well, yesterday I had something that I felt was more important. And I really... I'm glad yeah, that I yeah, went to that instead of I'm, coming on the and podcast. And I'm glad that you did that too. But what I'm saying is you knew in advance you were coming to this show. You knew a week in advance. The fact that you didn't take in, into consideration that, hey, I made a commitment. And I, by the way, I'm supposed to do something else too that day. Listen, everything was a fucking issue. Today, the same thing. Everything was an issue. Then All you right. come on the show. Then you come on the show. Everything is someone else's fault. He told me to come today at like 3.30 and I was at work Last till minute. 5.30. And yeah. Yeah. She yeah. Said, but hold on. Yeah. But the that the point that I'm trying to prove is that there's it's always someone else's fault. It's always an excuse for something. And when you I'll live like that, Thank when you. you live like that, you continue to be a loser like I was and you don't do anything about your situation and, and you just feel like people owe you shit. Nobody, yeah, owe, nobody like owes that, you shit. But can I talk? Go ahead. <laughs> so we're not getting paid to be here. We're here, you know, for fun. And I had something to do yesterday, so I went and I did it. And see, I told you why, that even thing though I didn't now. really have to tell you why. Hold I, on, but see, I could have just you're, not shown ahead. up. <laughs> okay, now you're taking that one thing. I, I named a whole bunch of other things. She's taking that one thing and saying, oh, well, I had something to do. Listen, first of all, you're here because you're here you want to be, number one, right? Yeah, because and, I and, thought and it yes, would be we don't, we don't pay women to come on here because we'll never do that. You know, we That's had uh, we it's had we had Ruby Rose uh, wanted to come two days ago. She has five million viewers. Yo, we're not paying anyone to come here. Could we do it? Yes, we could. I'm not doing that. That's not but a reputation. That's not a reputation that I want to get. But also, how many how many girls have ha had had connections through this show? How many girls have have done business deals through this show? How many girls have met people through this show? The networking could like like stupid people come on here and they're like, oh, I'm just not getting paid, stupid. bro. There's exposure. There's hundreds of no, people. There's, there's hundreds. There's, there's hundreds there's, of people watching right now, right? But stupid people sit here and they're like, oh, well, I don't get anything out of it, bro. Listen, it's if you can, one of the reasons if you yeah, it's listen, but you can't you can't sit here and say that you get nothing out of it. You get what you want out of it. Whatever you do in okay. life, you get whatever you want out of it, right? I like agree. you, like I've had girls that have come on here, the realtors, they've sold houses mm -hmm. because someone out there wanted a house, and then they were in Florida as well. Like I've, yeah. I bought a house, we bought a house from someone that came on this fucking show. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like you, like you come on here, you're like, oh, well, I'm not getting anything out of it. Like okay, then you're just dumb. There's, yeah, there's, so much, there's, a, so, there's so much there's so much there's so much because you're not the first one you're not the first one that's come on here and said some dumb shit like that i get nothing out of bro you get a whole bunch whatever you want to get out of this not you know i mean we're here too you know so we're, we're giving you guys our time the same thing you're like women say oh i'm giving you my time so are we we're giving yeah, you our no, time I agree, too i agree god damn it bro okay <laughs> uh moving on what about you i lost, I lost yeah what was, the question? No, what was the question again? uh you want to tell her because i forgot to <laughs> Next question, and we have uh, uh, questions. Okay, I guess the I was trying to was, say, can men, can yes, women okay. follow oh, their man? Should, yes. a, should yeah, a woman yeah. follow their man? Yes, oh yeah, of course. And it goes back to what she was saying earlier in the beginning, um, because we want to feel protected and safe. Mm -hmm. I like that. You're ready to be in a relationship. What about you? Yeah, I was I the same. 
She said I got traumas. Uh, who leads in your relationship? My man. Speak up, please. Move I'm on. Sorry. Mm-hmm. My man. Your man leads. Okay, I find it hard to believe, but okay. <laughs> what about you? What I think about the situation or who leads? No, priority? just a, like should a man lead? Yes, definitely. That's a what man they're made for. That's that's their role. Okay. You know. Fair enough, man. Are you willing to yield to a man's authority? Yes. Do you understand what that, that means? Do you guys sexy. understand what that means? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, <laughs> well, here's the thing, Hector. Hector, here's the thing. Women are are willing to yield when they think it's beneficial, mm-hmm. right? Like a lot of women will say, "Yes, I'll yield to my man," but as soon as your man says you can't go to the club with your friends, that's the example I was about to say. Yeah. There you go, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, mm-hmm. well, all of a sudden it's oh, well, you can't tell me what to do. You're being manipulative and controlling. You're insecure. You're insecure. Who hurt you? I've had the opposite thing. Like You're I've told somebody, oh, somebody invited me out, but I'm not going to go out tonight. And they're like, why? Go out with your friends. I'm like, why are you telling me to go? Why yeah. would you let me go? <laughs> like, you know, so that's actually been my situation. Are you still so with him? I don't feel like, yes, it's Tyler, actually. Oh, it's Tyler. Mm-hmm. I don't <laughs> Tyler, like, Tyler, you should have. Yeah. But you know what I think it is? He's from Utah. He doesn't understand Miami clubs is Tyler and a white the way guy? they are. Yes. Oh, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> but like, the thing is, he doesn't understand anything how we are in Miami. Yeah, but even, you know what I mean? It doesn't even matter. Yeah, first of all, and it doesn't even matter. Even if it was in Utah, why would you let your woman go out into an environment where you can't control it? It's not about being insecure. It's, mm. What if a guy at that club or at that bar or Dude. lounge grabs your ass? Exactly. That, that was my example. What, what happens then? What's, that was my ti- what's Tyler going to do about it? When I was well, here, here's the thing, right? If you go out, you get your ass grabbed. What are yeah. you going to do? Tyler's at home taking care Dude. of the kids. No, exactly. That's why He's I wouldn't go. That's what I'm home. saying. That's not the type of thing that I'll put. I wouldn't put myself in a situation mm-hmm. where I have to defend myself because my man isn't no, there. No, what, what I'm trying you to tell Tyler like, is he shouldn't be telling you to go out. Yeah. yeah. There's no reason why Tyler like, okay, should be telling you to go out. Do you feel like somebody who Well, we don't hasn't feel anything. Let, so, oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. Okay, do you think that um, somebody who hasn't had the same experience and the lifestyles that we had maybe just doesn't understand what we're putting ourselves into no. when Mascul- we're in that situation? Masculinity is universal. You give six men a cake, a recipe to a cake, he might make velvet cake, he might make chocolate cake, but it's still fucking cake. There's specific ingredients that are needed to make the cake mm-hmm. same thing with masculinity you know what i mean like yeah. i might express my way a certain way articulate a certain way he might express himself a certain way yeah. articulate a certain way, but we're going to articulate the same message yeah our know. morals are going to be kind of sort of the same mm-hmm. like the way we navigate through this labyrinth that we call life we're going to match up with each other as far as our moral compass and our principles there's yeah. certain you know prerequisites for relationships among men as well so no universally men we operate around the same unless it's a different kind of man aka yeah. a strong man or a weak man now i don't know tyler no, you know what i mean yeah. but just but what you're no, explaining he might be a good man but he also a weak man for you to say no. for you to say i, say I told him i asked him if i could go out and he no, said no i didn't yeah. ask him if i could go out i told What'd him i was invited and uh-huh. i wasn't gonna do it because i wanted to stay home and chill and mm-hmm. he's like hey if you want to go out with your friends it's okay with me and mm-hmm. i was like nah i'm good that's probably because of know? the long distance because i bet yeah. you if he was there oh yeah i don't know. think he would let me if he was sitting next to me yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but <laughs> hold on hold on but even but even then there's no excuse for tyler to be telling you that it's okay what, what, what I, I feel bad putting him on blast. I'm sorry. What, 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 <laughs> what, 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 all our man's on blast. Listen, <laughs> what, I, what I'm trying to say <laughs> is, <laughs> as as I'm sorry. What were you saying? You I you all quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> I said you guys are putting all of our men on blast, calling them weak, and they're not weak. Well, we're not putting them on blast. We're just recognizing certain you character don't traits. Them. We don't, so but just the way that you're. Yeah. I'm not making any assumptions. I'm identifying character traits that you guys are describing. And we're just calling it what it is. That's all it is. I'm not, sure. I don't know the guy, but just but, from what yeah. you're saying, I can easily say that, you know what? He probably has some sort of inadequacy. He's probably insecure. Well, he does. probably doesn't. Mm. So you said I, something I earlier. 